guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my brother with me. Say hello. Hello. Hi. So, um, I look really crappy. Well, Say, well I do as well. <laughs> it's just been kind of one of those like really bum days at home and it's like really raining. It's going crazy. But anyway, so today's video is going to be about quizzes. So we're going to be doing two different types of Harry Potter quizzes. Um, I'm going to ask him questions, and he's going to ask me questions. So we're doing the same quiz. So we're going to do which Harry Potter character are you, and then which Harry Potter character is your soulmate. So I'll be doing some chit-chat about some future videos and random things when we're um, moving to the next quiz. So I'm going to start out first asking him the question. So the first quiz that we're doing is which Harry Potter character are you? And if you aren't aware of these quizzes and you want to be aware of the quizzes, they're all BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed is the best place to do these kind of fun quizzes that aren't on Pottermore because quizzes like this are not on Pottermore. Um, so just type it in Google um, which Harry Potter character you and just choose the BuzzFeed one. So without further ado, so this video is not nine million minutes long, let's get started. So first question is you have to pick a movie. So you have Parent Trap, Silence of the Lambs, Mean Girls, of The Wolf of Wall Street, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind, The King's Speech, Easy Rider, Brokeback Mountain, and Education. Okay. So we're going to go back and forth. I'm going to pick and then you'll pick and I'll do it. Oh one. yeah, that, that'll be good. Okay. So um, I've picked mine. I've picked The Parent Trap. Who are you? Okay. Oh well, do you want me to do yours? No, so no, you can. Okay. Why don't you do yours at the same time as me? Okay, I'll pick making different decisions as we go along. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll do the Parent Trap because I haven't really okay. seen most of those. So we both picked the Parent Trap. If you don't know what the Parent Trap is, that's where like it's the two twins and they get separated. There was the original one from like the fifties, and then a Lindsay Lohan remake in like the nineties. So the next question that we're both going to answer is, which object do you most desire? The Elder Wand, the Philosopher's Stone, the Mirror of Erised, a Firebolt, the Marauder's Map, a Deluminator, the, Resurre the Resurrection Stone, the Cloak of Invisibility, a TV. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the Marauder's Map. Because um, I just love that. I just love the Marauder's Map. And... Oh, the, probably the invisibility one, because so, that's really cool. Yeah. So. so he's going with the uh, invisibility cloak, and I'm going with the Marauder's Map. Next question. What is your favorite food? Shepherd's pie, chicken wings, chocolate eclair, steak tatiar? Steak tartar. Tartar, whatever the heck that is. Salad, cheese, cotton candy, caviar, fish and chips. Well, I'm not a big fan of like any of these really, but I do like forms of chicken wings, so I'm gonna go with chicken wings on that. Cheese, I love cheese. Cheese. Okay, so he's cheese. I'm chicken wings. Next question is to pick a drink: gin and tonic, tea, pims, beer, <coughs> Bloody Mary, milk, tequila, whiskey, old fashioned. Um, What's I old do, fashioned? A uh, type of alcoholic drink I have no idea I do drink beer but not very often so I drink milk way more so I'm gonna go with milk on that. See, I'm doing milk so we both picked milk pick a song get lucky by Daft Punk flawless by Beyonce stairway to heaven Led Zeppelin mr. tambourine Green man. man by Bob Dylan slim shady Eminem I will always love you Whitney Houston mean Taylor Swift Creep, Radiohead, or Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. So I, just uh, love, I love Justin Timberlake. I'm doing Taylor Swift. And he's mean. going with me by Taylor Swift. Okay, where would you like to hang out? The Free Broomsticks, Madam Padfoot's Tea Shop, Puttyfoot's Tea Shop. I'm sorry, Borgen Burks, Quality Quidditch Supplies, Wizzly's Wizard Wheezy's, Freaking Shack. Mine's obviously Weasley's, Weasley's, I can't speak today, guys. Weasley's Wizard Weasley's because Fred and George are my favorite characters. I guess the same for me, because I know that that's fun. It's super fun. And I really, really want to go there when I go to Diagon Alley in the Wizarding World. How would you spend your ideal weekend? In bed with a book, getting drunk with your friends, hanging with your family, partying at a fancy club, playing a sport on a date with your partner, uh, watching TV at home, hiking or alone at a 
die far. Definitely hanging with my family because I mainly do that most of the time. Or yeah. my friends, which are like my family. Okay, so we both picked that. Hanging yeah, with your family. Your ideal partner is someone who values your intelligence, is really protective, inspires you, is family oriented, idolizes you, hates the same things as you, you're comfortable with, gives you space, or doesn't exist. Uh -huh. I mean, I really like all of those things except yeah. for doesn't exist, but I'm going to go with family oriented because if they're like in t with your family and you're in with their family, then I think that would be important. Is really protective. Really protective. So I'm going family oriented. He's going really protective. Pick a potion. Felix Felicis or Liquid Luck. Um, the Love Potion, a draw out of peace, wit, sharpening potion, polyjuice potion, or strengthening solution. Gonna gonna have to go with uh, Felix Felicis, Liquid Luck, because why not? Wit sharpening. Ooh, okay. So I'm going with Liquid Luck, Wit sharpening. And what do you prefer reading? The Gawker, The Guardian, The New Yorker, Rolling Stone, Village Voice, The Onion, Sports Illustrated, BuzzFeed, or New York Post. I'm going with the Gawker because I know it's funny and I just think it sounds funny. Um, I guess I don't read any of these, but I know that well, some of these oh, are no, Harry, Harry Potter related. Um, the New Yorker this. has short stories, so I will do that one. He's an English person. Okay, so I'm Gawker. He is New Yorker. Pick a magical creature: unicorn, phoenix, owl, hippogriff, crumple horned snor snornak, basilisk, centaur. Poltergeist for Pygmy Puff. I'm going with a Hippogriff because Buckbeak is my favorite magical creature. And also it says Owl. I know. But that's, it says magical creature and it says Owl. Well, because uh, he is not a big Harry Potter fan like me. Um, but Owls, as you know, are huge creatures and like they're important to the Potter world. They're, they're messengers. They deliver the letters. Owls don't deliver letters and most people don't own Owls as pets. So that's Okay, fine. Phoenix. Okay. Well. And then we have to pick a TV show. We're going with Girls, Game of Thrones, Dexter, Entourage, New Girl, Sherlock, Two and a Half Men, Brothers and Sisters, or Breaking Bad. I'm going with Sherlock. I haven't seen any of these but New Girl, so I'll pick New Girl. Okay. And the results are, I got Fred Weasley. Woo! It says, I've gotten Fred, like, numerous times since I've taken this quiz. I've taken these quizzes a lot. And sorry for the noise, the thunderstorms going on outside. It says, you are Fred Weasley, you are the life of the party, you never take things too seriously, and can diffuse tension situations with your sense of humor. You might not be the top of your class, but creativity and wit are the reasons for your success. So I'm excited about that. It's also James and Oliver's birthday today, so go wish them a happy birthday if you haven't. And just this week, James Phelps, who played Mr. Fred Weasley, tweeted me on Twitter, and I freaked out, and that was very beautiful to wake mm -hmm. up to in the morning, and it's also my, my lock screen on my phone. So, who did you get? I got Warp. Oh, he Warp. got Warp. He got, um... He's so ugly. <laughs> that's, if you don't know who Warp is, he's Hagrid, there he is. He's Hagrid's, um, half-brother, or bro like, I don't, I can't remember if it's full or half-brother, haven't read The Order in the Phoenix in a while. I'm cre currently rereading the series right now, and I'm on Goblet of Fire, and i um, going to be watching Goblet of Fire tonight, actually, because it's my favorite movie. Totally you know gross and <laughs> so But he's sad. so good sold. So, um, but yeah. So those are the results. Guap, Fred. And now we're going to move on to um, the soulmate quiz. Who's your Harry Potter soulmate? So, I don't really have any updates right now, um, but this video will be going up tonight. I guess, how about we go, who's your Harry Potter boyfriend, and you'll do who's your Harry, your Harry Potter girlfriend. That would be better. So, I'm going to go with, the BuzzFeed one is, which Harry Potter guy should you get with? Which is not really what I want. So, we'll go with uh, Buzz, Play Buzz this time. So I'm going to do this while my brother is getting up the girlfriend one. So the first question is, which house are you? I'm a Gryffindor. Will you be playing Quidditch or watching it? I will most 
definitely be playing. I would love to play. What's your favorite subject? So your choices are Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, Potions, or None. Um, I'm going to have to say none of those because I would be a charms person. Choose your favorite Harry Potter quote. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of the times if only one remembers to turn the light. Fear of name increases fear of the thing itself. The ones that truly love never leave us. It takes a, or it takes a great deal of courage to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. So 95% of those are serious and Dumbledore quotes because they have the best ones, but I'm going to say I'm solemn, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Is that your first question? <sighs> I ran out of breath. No, it's my fourth. Who would be your Hogwarts bestie? Ginny, Hermione, Pansy, Luna, or Cho, Hermione? Do you f prefer good or bad guys? Good. Pick a professor. Woo! Snape, Sprout, Hagrid, Other, or Dumbledore? Hagrid. Are you prideful? Um, no, not really. Yes, I am the best. Sort of. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to go with, hmm, what should I pick? What? Am I prideful? <laughs> yeah. Yes, no, sort of. I would of. say it's in between yes I'm gonna and go, sort of. I'm going to say sort of because yeah, who but isn't prideful at one point? But I feel like Choose it's Choose a gif of Ron. So we have a gif of Ron when he just comes back with killing the, um, destroying Horcrux, when he saves the goal during the Quidditch game, when Draco's being a dick. When the spiders and the bo uh, all the buggies, and I have no idea what this last one is. So I'm going to go with that first one, because he looks really cute and happy. Which is your pet? Rat, cat, toad, or owl? I'm going to go with owl, because I have a cat, and I want to switch it up. Who's your favorite? Fred or George? Oh, that's easy. Fred and George. Um, I've got... It's calculating my results. I've got Fred or George. <laughs> So, your Hogwarts boyfriend is either Fred or George Weasley. There's not much of a difference. They're both sweet, hilarious, clever, and a ton of fun. You're lucky to have them. They're the life of the party. So, I would probably want to date George because I know that he wouldn't die. But, of course, I wouldn't have known that. But anyway, either of them. Okay. Um, I couldn't find a girlfriend, so I have to do the soulmate. Okay. There, there was nothing specific to okay. that, really. All right. it, it, there was, but it wasn't working. So these um, are really, really fun. The most important factor in a relationship besides love is trust, loyalty, common interests, or humor. So I would have to say trust, I guess. Mm. I would go with humor if I was taking that one. Which witch do you identify with the most? Um, uh, Ginny Weasley, Lily Potter, Hermione Granger, or Ninfedora Tonks? Mm. I don't know. I would say probably Ginny. She's yeah, nice. I was going to say Ginny or Hermione for you. Do you find yourself more attracted to good or bad people? Like, you know, the like right. bad... Like the bad boys, the bad girls. I guess... I'm a rebel, but I'm not bad. I would say it depends, but really good, I guess. Yeah. Does the amount of money someone has make them more attractive to you? No, um, not me personally. I guess not really. I guess that not really. No. What is your usual type? Dark and mysterious, laid back. Mysterious? You mean mysterious? Mis yes. <laughs> laid back and friendly, clever and witty, intelligent and reserved. I would probably go with that for you, because I would go witty and like energetic because I'm really outgoing. I guess it's, I like dark and mysterious. Oh, or not? He's going down that path. Yeah. Pick a profession you'd drink. rather your significant other have. So rich that I wouldn't have to work. A dark wizard fighter or a professor or an owner of a joke shop. I don't know. I guess Well, we all know who I'd go with. Yes. Owner of a joke shop. <laughs> but I would say professor. Mm -hmm. Even though I love to laugh, I'm not like a total like unfun person. Yeah. Where would you rather go on a date first? The three broomsticks, Hogwarts Lake, wizards, or we, wizards? Wizards... Weasley's, Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. I'm sorry. Get my husband's store name wrong. The Shrieky the shack. shack. Hog, I'm so sorry. We need to educate him more on Harry Potter. That's okay. And Hogwarts Lake. I like Hogwarts Lake. 
I guess. I do a lot of. You have a weird swim. obsession with the Black Lake for some reason. The Patronus would probably be a doe, an otter, a dog, or a wolf. I guess I would have to say a wolf. Oh, then I don't know because the other ones were Harry, Hermione, and Ron's Patronus. So I think it's going to be either like all sorts of different people. So he might get a guy. Yeah. I got Lupin. Lupin. Who <laughs> well, I don't so even know, know. Well, we'll just say that him and Lupin would be best friends. Okay. Or like mentor. Like Lupin would be a great mentor. A mentor. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I like doing videos like this because you kind of get to know what, we're, what I'm like as a person. I mean, you already know. And then he pops into some videos. Um, on occasion. So, um, to end the video, this is the tweet I was talking about. You can't really see it. Um, but that's okay. There I we go. If, you... if I flip it, it's alright. It's backwards, oh my... but this is the. Ah, oh, it just disappeared. This is the tweet that James sent me. Now it's focusing. There we go. Yeah. So, that was extremely exciting. I know it's back backwards, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I can put, I'm going to put the links to those quizzes that we took in this video so you guys can take them if you haven't already. And um, I put my last video that I put up was my Harry Potter new haul video, like updated collection type video. Um, so if you want to, you can go check that out. I do have some other videos that are going to be coming up eventually. Um, I just haven't had the time. Or I've been too lazy to put them up. This one's going up tonight. So, guys, I'm going to leave you the three things I always leave you with. <coughs> always think optimistically. Always remember to keep magic in your life. And always, always remember that you're beautiful no matter what anyone says. Peace, guys.